Hello from a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, it's a 3-4-2-1 with two players behind the centre forward, but they need to link up as much as possible. They're going to be key to the way this system works, otherwise the centre forward could become isolated. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Now a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. And here's the Wolves lineup. Well, it's a 3-4-2-1 with three at the back, two central midfield players and two wing backs. But the two behind the centre forward will be key today. They need to play well, that's for sure. Well, later in the game, he might have seen yellow, but not at this early point. Opportunity here. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So Palace get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Can he find the right pass? Is this the moment? And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Kamada. Will Hughes. Anderson. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Hughes. And quite simply, wide of the target. Read it well. Could get themselves back into it. Oh, good save. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. Over it comes. And the penalty has been given here. This to get back into it. And he slots it home with confidence. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Well, it was a foul, but good. He's in behind. And the ball is loose. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Mitchell. 
Lemina. Feeding it through. Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And the finish showed great composure. Just to lift it over the goalkeeper. That's a lovely goal. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. Odson Edouard. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. And threading it through. Nice-looking move. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. The referee's whistle. And that means the first half is over here in South London. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Well, he scored good goals, but his all-round play has been excellent. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Well, they have the ball once more. Unable to make the mark with that cross. Kamada. Superb effort to keep it in. And Palace could be onto something. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Gomish. And Daniel Bentley has it. Under pressure here. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Oh, surely. And fine goalkeeping. And with play stop, they will make the change now. He's driven in the corner. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Has a go. Well. Just over the crossbar, excellent effort. Making progress, and he's through here. And a goal, he's put it away, a celebratory moment. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And the ball rolling again, with Wolves really starting to accelerate away. And into the last 20 minutes. Sheikh Dukure. Daichi Kamada. Jordan, are you here? Are you? Well, he loves drifting in off the flank. And the keeper there to deal with it. And a substitution in the offing.
Played over. No nonsense piece of defending. Can they hit on the break? Well, they have to pay attention. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Well, as this game ebbs away, Stuart, Wolves excelling out there. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Well, that'll be a free kick. Good ball over the top. He has teammates around him. Might be a chance here. Oh, that's an expert piece of defending, just as it was looking threatening. The high press against Nathaniel Klein. Daichi Kamada. And the referee blows the whistle, and it is officially a win for Wolves. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.